Okay, uh, we've, we've done the fluid probe, now we're going to concentrate on the analyzer itself, doing a couple of checks on the analyzer. So, if uh, normally you turn the analyzer on, obviously with your fluid probe connected, and your fluid probe would be, um, you'd be outside, uh, standing with your instrument and your fluid probe, or you'd at least be hanging your fluid probe out the window. Um, but I'm just going to do instrument only at the moment, just to show you some checks. So we turn the instrument on. This is a, a Sprint Evo. So when you see it, it first comes up, you'll see on the screen starting up. And then that gets us through to the test menu. Now, if I pick flu gas analysis, and I press the top middle button to go into that, um, it's saying auto zero. So now it's asking me to confirm I'm in clean air. As I said, that would normally be outside or out, or you'd be hanging uh, the flu probe outside a window. So I'm gonna press to confirm that I'm in clean air. If you've got a V range, it's slightly different. You have to wait for the flat line before you press the middle button, but this, the Evo is automatic. You just press the button and it will find its own zero point. So now you'll see it stabilizing and your purge symbol is on the screen. And then in a few seconds, the stabilizing will turn to zeroing, like so. And now it lets me into flue gas, uh, flue gas one. If there's a number up there, it means that you've got more than one page. So we've got CO, CO2 ratio. If I press this bottom middle button twice, it's going to get me to flue gas three. And the reason I'm taking this there is because it gives us all the readings in one place. So you've got an oxygen reading, you've got a CO reading, although albeit zero, and the rest of them are hashed because obviously there's no reading in here at the moment for it to calculate. So what I want you to do is, um, if you concentrate on the oxygen, uh, on the top line there. If I blow into the middle spigot now, and when I turn it around, I'd like you to look at the O2 ring on the top line there. And you'll see your O2 reading drops that time to about 18%, but you'll see that it recovers quite quickly. Now that's, that tells me that the, the sample's been taken from the pump through over the manifold to the sensors and, and they're, they're reacting in, 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 you know, in, the, in a timely fashion, and they're recovering as well which tells you there's no blockages, the pump's strong, um, and it, you've got no, uh, no moisture in the internal tubes. Now if I do this again, this time I would like you to concentrate on the, the um, third and the fourth line down, the CO2 and the ratio. Um, so if I blow that on that again, and we quickly look at those lines, you'll see the CO2 just, cut, just cuts in, just enough. Uh, it, it can close and shows you a CO2 reading your ratio periodically cuts in as well. That just tells you that your oxygen is, is, is calculating your, uh, your CO2 and uh, again it's all returned back to 20.9 in a timely fashion which means it's, it's very responsive and, and it doesn't look like we've got too many problems with this analyzer. Now the other thing you can do is if you block up the middle spigot underneath, completely block it, what happens is it comes up with plump box now that's obviously put in place to protect um, from the flu probe sucking up moisture into your analyzer. Or if you've got a block filter, it also identifies that for you. Um, and it's to protect the analyzer. But what, this is, what we're actually using it for uh, on this particular test is to make sure there's no internal tube leaks or that the pump's got any blockages or debris in it. Um, and because we've come up pump blocked, if I press escape now and the pump comes straight back on, then we know, which it does, now we know that, um, that there's no problem with the pump and there's no problem with the internal tubes. So um, combined with the flu probe checks, um, that shows us that the overall integrity um, of both the uh, flu probe and the instrument itself uh, all looks fine and good to go. Now we can't, unfortunately, there's no easy way of doing this, testing the CO like this. Um, the only way you're going to be able to check the CO is actually on an appliance. But this is a good uh, uh, indication that everything is working okay and that your pump's all right and you, you don't have any internal tube uh, issues. Thank you.